family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm so excited because e.l.f. is 50% off their website right now and you guys know I'm a huge e.l.f. person, especially since they are cruelty free and I think a lot of their products are vegan. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are vegan. So we are going to shop the e.l.f. website together and I'm going to show you my top picks and then you can see the things that I'm interested in trying. I don't know, I thought maybe you'd be interested. I'm again a huge elf fan. I have a lot of elf with different videos so if you are maybe new to the brand or just overwhelmed with what to get I will just give you my top recommendations and we are just going to go through the website together. The 50% off does not include the new stuff but their new stuff actually is really small this time so hopefully some of the newer things that I've been interested in trying but are too cheap to actually get will be half off this time and I'll actually get them. I don't know. Let's just go shopping together. All right, we are on the e.l.f. website and you can see the discount here is 50% off site-wide and it is for a purchase of $30 or more and if you have at the end of the discount $25 you get free shipping on top of that. So, so it is a fantastic deal but it does not include, if you can see here, um, it does not include new items, beautifully precise brush collection, the beauty shield collection, or the active collection, and it is only for today. So let's just get going, and if you d miss the sale today, then you can always just, I mean, they have it usually every quarter or so, so you can have an idea in the future of what I suggest. So we are going to go over to eyes. I'm just going to go up here and go to each section. I'm not going to click bestsellers because a lot of them are here anyway. So let's just go to eye stuff. So let's start off here. You obviously cannot get the discount on the rose gold eyeshadow palette, but still for 10 bucks, I'm actually really excited about this. I'll show it to you. It kind of reminds me of the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced because it has that green and the colors are pretty similar. Um, yeah, it looks gorgeous. I don't need it, but for 10 bucks, even if you can't get the discount is pretty awesome. I do like their shadows. I do think they're a great like beginner shadow because if you are new and you're not used to blending and such, they are very easy and they're not too pigmented. Um, so it's not going to give you like crazy eye looks or anything. One of my top picks, if you haven't tried these yet, is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It would only be a dollar with the discount. I'm definitely getting one. I've gone through so many, probably about like four or five of these. This is one of my one, this is probably in top five of most repurchased makeup for only a dollar this time. It's amazing. It's very creamy. It's very soft. So if you want more of a precise line, it's not going to be the product for you. But if you want something that is just for filling in your brows, maybe help with the tail end of your brows, but you don't really need like precise strokes, it is a really good one to go to. So let's continue shopping. I'm going to put that in my cart. These trios have been on my list for a while because there's just something about the ease of having just a couple eyeshadows like this trio and then you have this duo over here. I've been really into just smaller palettes recently, especially for travel and just everyday use. They're just easy um, and you really don't need a ton of eyeshadows to create good looks. This is just something that I've been really wanting to just have one. Um, let me see. Uh, these Sculpting Silk eyeshadows. I'm trying to think of, oh, that one's pretty, but I would not use it. Can you see what I'm doing here? Um, let's see, there's blue. I don't normally use blue. The gray one is actually, this one is calling out to me because I don't have a lot in this color family at all in my collection. So I think I'm going to add that into my bag. And then for these ones over here, I really have been drawn to this. I just got a julep one that's very similar, but I've been wanting to try it again. It'll be, it'd be $1.50. Like, for real, I should just get them. Ooh, I like that one. And it has that, like, gray. But this is definitely a different color. Hmm. This is the one that I know I'd get the most use out of, but I seriously just got something that's so similar. I kind of like this one, too. I think I might do that one because I feel like that would be really easy. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this. So this is the Correct and Set Under Eye Powder. This one is in yellow. They have a couple different colors. They have a peach, they have a pink, so if for color correctors for dark circles, but the yellow one I think would be best for my skin tone. So I am going to put that one in there. Uh, look at these. These are only a dollar, so it'd be 50 cents for a satin eyeliner pencil. 
I don't need anything like that, but seriously, guys, for 50 cents, it includes the sharpener. I just scroll down a little bit further, and you can see there's a lot of other eyeliners. I just haven't had good success with their eyeliners. Actually, I lied. I have had good success with their cream eyeliner. Um, it is really, really black, really creamy, and I think for a dollar fifty, that'd be a, that's an awesome eyeliner to go to. Uh, maybe if you're new to eyeliner, you don't want to invest a ton of money in like a super expensive one, and you just want to try the technique. It's worth the try for again a dollar fifty. Part of me wants to get the brown one, but I don't use it all that often, so I probably won't. Um, let's keep moving on down. Just a lot of eyeliners. For me, for some reason, I just don't want an eyeliner. Um, ooh, look at this eyeshadow primer. Hydrating under eye primer. Oh. Ooh. Is this for, like, underneath the eyes, or is this for eyeshadow? It's for concealer. You know, I feel like the other day I was actually telling myself that I wanted to have something like this. I think I might actually put this in my bag. We have these. Actually, I really do like this formula here for eyeshadow. I have had this one in the past. Um, really, really good eyeshadow formula. Really easy. Again, just a good solid quint. They are worth checking out for, I mean, it'd only be $3. Let's see, we have the No Bud Shadow Sticks. I have tried one before. I think it was in this like pinky shade. Um, the Rose Gold, that's what it's called. Yeah, I did have this one before. They are great. Um, if you like the Marc Jacobs, I feel they are really comparable and it'd only be $2. Oh, I have actually have tried this. These Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadows. I have Blushing Rose and then I have Nude, I think. Yeah, nude linen. These are phenomenal. They are very smooth. They have great color. Um, they have four different shades. Now, this one here, the Blushing Rose, isn't too pink, which is what I was worried about. It actually is a really beautiful color, um, and it just works really well, really effortless. So if you like really, you don't want to have to worry about your eyeshadow at all, you just want to maybe neutralize the color on your lid or something, they are actually really, really good. Part of me really wants this Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Jewel Pop. Like, look at those colors. I obviously do not need that. But it's beautiful, and it'd only be $5 to try some really bold colors. So maybe if you're someone who maybe wants to try color, um, I have tried this line before. Again, they're really easy. I haven't tried this bright of a shade. But it looks like they use a satin matte texture. Hmm. I'd be really curious of trying this and seeing if it worked, but I just know I'm not going to use those colors, but it's beautiful to look at, that's for sure. So I, as far as eyes go, I would definitely say go for the brow pencils. I do like the eyeshadow formulas. Um, their brow products are phenomenal, so I would say go for brow products as well, but I would say stay away from liners and mascara from e.l.f. Now, lip products is where I love e.l.f. Um, they're really affordable, so maybe if you wanted to try a different shade or a different formula, you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, e.l.f. lip products are phenomenal. Um, I really haven't found a huge dud in the bunch. So lip exfoliator, fantastic. I have one already. I use it all the time. Really, really good, and I love how convenient it is with it being in a stick form. Their liquid mattes are also really good. I'm just not into that formula anymore. But if you like matte lipsticks, it is a really comfortable matte. It's not super drying. It does wear gracefully. Um, it's just, I'm not into that type of formula anymore. Moisturizing lipsticks, they are fantastic. And they'd only be $1.50. I actually kind of want one. Um, just because they're $1.50. Ooh, look at that orange. That would be beautiful for summer. Do I need another orange lipstick? Absolutely not. They also have a bright pink. What's this one? I feel like I have some pink minx. That's a pretty, I'm gonna put that in there. <laughs> um, I just really like that formula a lot. Like super, super creamy. I heard that the bottom of it is actually a lip gloss or lip balm. I'm not sure, I've never tried it, but um, $1.50, that's awesome. Lip plumping gloss, actually I really like these. I got one from Ulta and it'd be what, $2.50? They are fantastic. I would say comparable to Buxom. Um, their matte lip colors are probably my favorite of the, the e.l.f. lip products. They are fantastic. It'd be only $1.50 to try one. They are great. And then also in the bottom, if you can see right here, that pops off so you can sharpen it. So if you want a more precise line, use it as a lip liner. They are fantastic. I just bought a ton of them. I actually bought one of the um, vaults <laughs> just recently. I haven't hauled it or anything, but I was able to get a really good discount on it. Um, let's see, we had the matte 
velvet matte lipsticks. These are also phenomenal. I'm just not into the matte lipstick anymore. Ooh, if you like the Dior lip glows, you would really like Gotta Glow Lip Tint. It's almost, it's an exact dupe. I don't know about as far as the nutritional benefits, but if you're looking for something that's just kind of giving you a nice wash of pink, I love that. I actually own one and I've gone through a full one before. Like it's so good. Um, it'd be three bucks compared to the Dior. Ooh, what's this lip gloss? It's fancy. I don't know who this Alicia Ashley is, but look at the packaging of that one. It'd only be $3. I've been really into lip gloss lately, by the way. This lip lock pencil is actually a really cool idea because if you are someone who doesn't want to get a ton of different shades of lip liner, but you want something that doesn't make it feather outside the lip line, it actually does work. If similar to the Bite Beauty one, and it's a lot more affordable. So I would say go for this. It's actually really good. Um, let's just keep going. The tinted lip oils, phenomenal. Only three bucks. Again, lip products from e.l.f. are just top notch. They are just as good as their dupe counterpart. Um, so these tinted lip oils, I feel like very similar to the YSL, if you like that. A little bit thicker, but I feel like it lasts a little bit longer than lips. So there's that benefit to them. I did purchase this, this rose gold matte lip vault already. My only downfall with it is that a couple of these darker shades are very similar, but it's a fantastic formula. I really have no gripes about it. The packaging is beautiful with the matte color, and so you'd be paying, what, $17 for all of them? That is a fantastic deal if maybe you want to keep a couple, give some away. Okay, moving on to face products, I'm going to say 100% I love this foundation formula. Um, it's fantastic. If you like a natural finish, medium coverage, looks like skin, it is like my go-to. It doesn't look too makeup-y. So shade selection isn't the best. They do have a couple darker shades, which is good. It's just for, I mean, you'd be paying three bucks for a fantastic foundation with a pump in a beautiful glass bottle. I say go for it. Primers for e.l.f., I just have not found the one that has worked for me. I feel like they always make my skin feel very clogged and they all smell very like gasoline-like. <laughs> so I would say pass. Baked highlighters, oh my gosh, these are phenomenal. Now you do have to scrape off the top layer because it can get like, it's like really pressed hard. And But once you get through that first barrier, it's fantastic if you like a very exciting highlight. Also, Makeup Mist and Set, fantastic. It does have aloe in there. It's very soothing, just really nice and just easy. Um, again, for the price point, it's fantastic. I do really like this Prep and Hydrate Balm. Really good for underneath the eyes, very cooling. If you like the Too Cool for School, or I know Kate Somerville has one, they're just really cooling and soothing and really hydrating. Um, absolutely love this one. I do have that one already. Their Contour Palette is really cool too. I had the original one at first. Yeah, this one here. Um, it'd only be three bucks. It's definitely worth it. And what's cool about these packaging, these palettes, all these pans are interchangeable. So if you want to get a blush palette or a highlight palette, make your own, you can do that because they do pop out really easy. Um, part of me really wants to get this again because I actually... I actually panned this. I finished it completely. I think I had a little bit left of the contour shade, but it was just a little too dark when I was trying it. But I actually finished the rest of the palette, so part of me wants to grab it again. So that's what's happening. Their blushes are beautiful as well. Um, it looks like a few shades are already out of stock. Mellow Mauve is my favorite. Absolutely beautiful formula. My issue with them is that it does kind of get those weird like bumps after just a short amount of time. But for $1.50, I say they're a beautiful formula. They blend really easily beautiful color absolutely going oh this here the beautifully bare sheer tint finishing powder this is one of the products I've repurchased a number of times I think I've gone through four of them such a good formula for a powder foundation it is comparable to me to the Dior um, the forever compact that's the one that I used to love um, this one I just feel like looks a le little less makeup y so I really do enjoy this one a lot unfortunately it only has five shades um, I get the lightest one ooh I've been wanting to try this this illuminating primer mist it kind of gives me vibes as like the um, Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist I might be completely wrong but I have been wanting to try that one for a while and it would only be four dollars 
Their blushes are fantastic. Again, these little palettes are phenomenal if you like to mix and match them. These little duos, uh, as you can see, they look very similar to the NARS ones. They are awesome. I've had them in the past. I think I hit pan on the bronzer, if I remember correctly, and it's only, it'd only be two bucks. I'd say go for it. They are very easy to use again. This one here, I've really been loving. So this is the Beautifully Bare Natural Glow Face Palette. It's actually a lot brighter in person. Like these ones are beautiful peaches. One's like, this one's more like peachy pink and this one's a true peach. Um, then you have a highlight and bronzer. Love this so much. It's been my go-to palette right now for face. Just does everything. Again, those pans pop out to mix and match. I have finished this one here before. I prefer the HD powder pressed versus the loose because I feel like you can control more of the color. What are these? Oh, these are new. Of course they are new, but they look pretty, don't they? This little blush here. Part of me really wants to get these mineral balls. <laughs> uh, pearls. Okay, pearls sounds better than balls. Um, I just, there's just something about them that looks really pretty. Like, doesn't that look like, what is it, Guerlain that has something similar to that? I don't need those. But there's just something about them that just looks really cool. So I think that's it from the face section. Um... So I would say go for the blushes, the bronzers, the palettes, um, some of the foundations. And as far as concealers, I really haven't found a concealer that I really have liked. Or primers. Don't go for their primers. I feel like you're risking the congestiveness, is that a word, of your skin. Let's move on to brushes. Brushes from e.l.f. are fantastic. Um, my favorite line from them is the black line. I have tried a couple of their newest line. Um, I don't know if they're included in the sale, but their black line is fantastic, especially for the price point. My favorite is their powder brush, which is the flat one. So I really do like this pointed powder brush here. I use that one a lot for blush. I also like this blending brush as well. It's one of their top sellers. Really good for foundation. This blush brush here is fantastic for highlight. I love using that one for highlight. Um, their eye brushes are phenomenal. Like you really can't go wrong with any of them. Um, their white brushes are good as well for their eyes, but I really don't think you like this one here, this total face brush. You don't pick up a lot of product. I like the stipple brush. I'm just going to go through these. Um, yeah, they just have phenomenal brushes for the price point. Oh, this one here, this powder brush. I have two of them. One of them are, is about five years old, still looks brand, brand new. Fantastic brush. If you don't have many brushes and you want something for bronzer and for powder and just like it does everything. It's so good. Um, again, I have two of them because I use it multiple times when doing my makeup. This brush here for two bucks, you might as well just get two because you're going to use it. Um, but their brushes, again, they're just phenomenal for the price point. I think they might even have a set. And now let's go to skincare. They actually do have some really good skincare. Again, this prep and hydrate. Ooh, this co hydrating coconut mist. I kind of want to try that. I'm going to put that one in. Cool. Um, the cleansing cloths, I have heard good things. The daily facial cleanser, I have heard good things, similar to like the Origins, the Balance one that they have. I have had this moisturizer. It just wasn't enough for my skin. Um, and I have had the eye cream before. You get a ton of eye cream for the price. So I would say that one is a, is a win. Let's see, we also have the makeup removing pen. I know Jessica Braun really likes that one from Jam Beauty 89. This illuminating primer mist, did I already put that one in? Because I really want that. Um, this brush, if you are a mask person, this brush is actually really handy. I use it all the time, really easy to clean, and you don't have to worry about like using too much product, which is what I like. Hydrating booster drops, what's this? It says it's new, but it's still part of the 50% off deal. Let's look at this here. It's a lightweight booster, supercharges your routine for instant hydration to help create a plump looking skin. Huh. It doesn't say how much, oh, it is vegan. It doesn't say how much product is in it. Oh, 0.5 ounces. So half an ounce for $5. I don't see myself using it, but that's really cool. This here, this gentle peeling exfoliant, I have gone through a full size one before. It's really cool. It's like one that actually like peels off your skin. I know part of it's probably just gimmicky, but I do feel like my skin is softer when I used it. I don't see myself repurchasing it because I have found a few th other things that work, but it'd only be five bucks and it's really cool. If you like the Peter Thomas Roth, oh, I forget the name of it, um, but it's very similar. 
The Nourishing Night Cream is really nice. If you dry your skin, it is really hydrating. Um, probably not the heaviest of night creams, but it does a good job. The Hydrating Serum I've also used. It's nothing special. I feel like you could probably pass on that one. Um, ooh, what's the Sun Kiss Booster Drop? What's this one? This one looks cool. It has a tint to it. Um, supercharges. has Argan Oil. Ooh. I'm going to put this one in. I feel like I'll use this one more. This essence I actually just got. I've been using it for about a week right now. It is really hydrating. I really do like it and you'd only be paying five bucks for it. So, oh, the exfoliating scrub has new packaging. I was, that's what I was looking for, but it looks like it has new cat packaging. If you like a physical exfoliant, I really have loved this in the past. Um, I think I've gone through two or three of these, um, but really really good if you like a, again a physical exfoliant so i think that's it th from the stuff that i'm gonna look at with you guys let me see what do i have in here looks like i got the eyebrow pencil a small trio of eyeshadows a duo of eyeshadows the correct and set under eye powder the eye under eye primer a lipstick um, the lip gloss that has the fancy packaging, the contour palette and the illuminating primer mist, the hydrating coconut mist, and the sun-kissed booster drops. And with the discount, it brings it down to $27.50 and that helps lets me get free shipping. That's fantastic. Like, look at all the stuff I'm getting. Oh, so cool. Anyways, if you are a fan of this, let me know down in the comments if you like this type of video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you do. This is very different for me. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to shop Elf or you don't know what to pick up, um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.